Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, my so-called healthy life. <clears throat> I have all these props next to me because I am going to show you today the food that I have been eating. I thought, well, I might as well just show it to them, you know, because I'm excited about it. Um, so we are day seven. So today completes one whole week. Tomorrow I will come on here and I will tell you how much weight I have totally lost in one week. Um, I lost another... I think it was 2.4 pounds today. And yesterday was very difficult for me. So Sunday, Alex and I usually go out to brunch. Um, I think I've lost a total of 9.6 pounds, but I'm not sure. It might be 9.4 pounds. Um, typically, Alex and I go out to brunch on Sunday. Now, you know, this is on the heels of coming on, like, and having gone out to eat twice, and I'm just really trying my best. And for me, it's more important to stick to a vegetarian diet right now than it is because I just want to eat healthier. If I lose weight, I lose weight. If I don't, I don't. But, um, so, and I'm very proud of the 2.4 pounds I lost because yesterday was hard. Um, so yeah, typically on Sundays, Alex and I go out to brunch, and I usually don't eat unhealthy, but I always get, like, a turkey sandwich or a turkey, or a... Uh, chicken salad sandwich or I get like with like chips or I get an omelet with you know and I could get a vegan omelet they have those with the place we go but I always get it with like a bagel and cream cheese and it's just very fatty and so I was very worried about that but he told me on Saturday night he was like we're going over to my mom's on Sunday for a cookout his brother Carlos was cooking out well I don't know if this is just exclusive to Venezuela or what, but in a Venezuelan tradition, one of, or maybe just his family, I don't even know. One of the things they do is that they get a lot of different kinds of meat and then they grill it out, like chicken, chorizo, the flank steak, you know, just all kinds, skirt steak, all different kinds of meat. And then they dip it in this stuff that's like, mm, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, so I apologize. But they um, dip it in what's kind of, it looks like creamy guacamole, but it's a little bit, uh, it's a little spicier than that. And it's called wasicaca. I know, but I love this stuff, right? And so I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I guess I just won't eat there. I'll go and hang out and see my nephews and stuff and then afterwards go home and, you know, eat like a Morning Star burger or something like that. Well, I went and his mom had made like this salsa but that you eat as a salad because she knew I was dieting. And then, and Alex actually stopped at the grocery store. Um, we drove separately and got like stuff to make a salad. So he made like a chicken Caesar salad while he was there with like grilled chicken. And then he had the lettuce and stuff. So him dieting has really helped. I will say that. Um, but anyway, um, I got there and she made yuca. And yuca is like one of my favorite vegetables of all time. If you don't know what yuca is, you can look it up on the internet. It very much is like a potato. It's a root. It's more root than a potato, I would say. Um, but she cooked it in butter and... So I was like, how fattening is this? And I like, I had had like two of them. They were like sized in half. So, but each size half was probably a cup and a cup of yuca is like 330 calories. I was like, oh my God. And then I was like, I like, I don't know how many calories I've eaten because I just been eating the salsa and all this kind of stuff, right? So I was like, and I was full. Like after those two yuca and some salad, I was totally full. I'd had a banana excuse me, in a smoothie, like one of those smoothie drinks for breakfast. That did not look nice, but you know what I mean. For breakfast. And um, so I wasn't like super hungry when I went over there. That is one trick I have found that has worked for me is that if I eat a little bit before I go out to dinner or I, like, cause that's been twice this week. If I eat a little bit before I go, then I'm typically not, and I have one thing that I eat before I go. I'll show you in a second. I'm not as hungry when I get there. So then it makes me eat less while I'm out to eat or I'm over at somebody's house. And I did that yesterday, and so I was fine. And then I woke up this morning, and I have lost 2.4 pounds. I will say this. Late in the evenings, between like 2 or like 10 and 2, like something happens, and my stomach starts really, really hurting. Um, and I feel like I'm going to vomit. This has been pretty consistent. If it goes on another week, I'm going to go to the doctor. Um, I, I really think it's like either hunger pains because I typically eat that time of night or I don't know or I'm burning fat or something is going on but like between 10 and 2 like my stomach hurts um, but I have been eating smaller meals throughout the day and that has really helped me too Alex is doing that so I'm kind of like on his schedule a little bit when he's at home today he's at work so I'm not but I wanted to show you guys I just went to the grocery store and got a few things so I wanted to show you typically how my day works um so yesterday I showed you guys, please don't spill open. Oh shoot, it did. Yesterday I showed you guys um, those shakes that I've been drinking. And I eat those, I eat one of those for breakfast. And then I usually either eat a banana or, put those over there. Pee, pee just ran. 
I got mango. Mango is my favorite fruit. It's also um, high in fiber. Um, and I got some pineapple. Now, I would not eat this whole container. I would probably mix a little bit of all this together. And um, then also with some blueberries. So I would like mix the blueberries, some mangoes, pineapple, and a banana all up together. I would eat that for breakfast um, with one of those shakes. And that's typically what I eat for breakfast. I'm gonna get some oatmeal this week and start mixing the oatmeal on it too because I think that, that would be good for me to have more fiber and some things like that. Throughout the day and at night when I get hungry, well here, let me show you this. So for dinner, I have been eating either a salad or I have been making veggie burgers. Now I have to say my favorite, and I used to eat these back in the day, are these Morning Star eight count value bags, these veggie burgers griller, they're um, 15 grams of protein, 130 calories, six grams of fat, five car or carbs, two fibers, and I'll just eat this, and then I have these whole grain buns that are 80 calories, and I just put some mustard on that, and that's what I eat. One or two, I usually eat two of these. I have also tried these Dr. Prager's California Veggie Burgers. They're gluten-free, 110 calories, five grams of fat, pretty similar, more carbs though. I do not love these, okay? I, I have to tell you, these are probably not my faves. And I cook them in the microwave and they just get mushy real quick. When I am eating snacks, I'm like a grazer, so I have to have some things around the house. So I have been buying, and I know, listen, everybody's gonna have their two cents and their opinion about this, but this is just what's working for me right now. It's better than french fries. It's better, better than a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. I've been getting dried fruit, and I've been trying not to eat too much of it. I will tell you, this is not really a dried fruit, but I found these things at Meyer called Dang Coconut Chips. I'll show you what they look like. Um, PB is like, give me some. So they look like, can you see? Mm, they're so good. And they're 160 calories, three servings per bag. So, I mean, that's not even that bad. A bag has been lasting me like a whole week. And then I've also been getting, I got these mangoes, these apricots. These dried mangoes are really good. <coughs> Two servings for the whole bag. Uh, 110 calories per serving, so it's 220 calories for the whole bag. These have lasted days, and it's sweet and tangy, super snacks. They're really good. Um, and then today I got, because I had dried mangoes, these are like almost like candy. I'm sure they're probably really not that healthy for me. No, there's like 28 uh, sugars and 26 sugars in here, 34 carbs, no fat, 140 calories. But for my sweet tooth, I think it's a little bit better. And then I also got dried apples. I am like in love with these. I just tried a couple of these. And then I have also been eating these Melissa's Cranberry Clean Snacks with Chia and Flaxseed. Let me show you what they look like. They look like these little, just like granola bits. Do you see? Here, I'll show you. See? I feel like this is a mukbang, but it's not. Now, I think it's like five of these per serving, and five of these is like 140 calories. How many per serving? Yeah, five, six. And so, um, no, five pieces. So like before I go to dinner, because chia is good for filling you up, I eat like, five, like three or five of these before I go to dinner, and then I'm not as hungry when I get to dinner. So yeah, that's what I've been eating. Of course, I've been drinking tons of water. I have not had any soda yet. Seven days of no soda. Um, a friend did tell me they think that they went through similar uh, stomach pains when they quit drinking soda, so that could be it. I don't know. But anyway, what do you think, Pee Pee? Pee Pee's like, well, Dad, come here. You want to say hi to everybody? He says, I think that you're doing real good, Dad. You do? He says, yeah, but I think maybe I could eat some banana too. So anyway, it's been really, really fun to find different things to eat. And it's been really, really fun to kind of like challenge myself. I will say one of the things that's been really, really hard, really, 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 really hard, and I've been talking, I was talking to my cousin about this earlier today, is that um, this obsessiveness that I have with food and thinking about it throughout the day, like what am I gonna eat? What am I gonna do this? And I'm hoping that, you know, as this just becomes part of how I live and that I stop living to eat, but I start eating to live, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so once that like is just kind of kicked in and like the habit is forming and all this kind of stuff, 
you know, that I will not so much obsess about like, well, what am I gonna eat for dinner? What am I, gonna, I mean, like, if I haven't eaten for the day, I typically find myself, you know, I'm not hungry, I'm not physically craving anything, but I find myself going, oh my God, what am I hungry for? What am I hungry for? What am I hungry for? So anyway, I do feel very good that I've stuck to the vegetarian diet. I physically feel a lot better and I'm sleeping a lot better. So, um, you know, overall, yes. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a one week wrap up. And um, I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.